All right, guys. I'm gonna see if I can find this beach that I remember passing a while back in Muckleteal, Washington. And I'm gonna see if it's open. And I wanna see if, uh, you know, it's kind of a nice day today. It's still kind of cold, but it ain't windy. So it just might be a perfect day for the beach. Let's go. Okay, so what it appears to that I came to is not exactly the beach, maybe it is, but there is a, a walk around it. I'm gonna go toward that, see what we got. There's some picnic tables around. There's some green grass all over the place. There's a, there's a few people here enjoying the, the area. Gotta check this out, look at that. That is nice. I've never been down here. Well, maybe I have, but it was such a long time ago. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what it is right now. Let's take a look. Maybe we can go down there by the water. I see it, guy. Way down there. Way down there. There's right down there. Maybe I can get there if there's a trail or something. Ooh, there might be. I just don't know how to get to it. <laughs> I'll make my way. Interesting. Oh, there's a little road that goes down there. I'll have to check it out. All right, there is a service road right here. Here, check it out. So. Oh. It might be illegal. But I think I can get to the beach. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I won't get in trouble. I just can't play on the uh, tracks maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <whistles> Busted. So far so good, nice and easy, easy breezy. I'm also testing out my uh, my windscreen, my furry dead little rat on my microphone. So I feel the wind here. I think in normal conditions it would sound pretty bad, but I'm hoping that you don't hear any nastiness. I'll check this out. I don't know what that was. Railroad parts. All those railroad ties. That's cool. Okay, here's what we're coming up on. I see some beach down there. All right. See how this goes. Crossing the railroad tracks might be the scary part, but let's see if it's Easy peasy. Let's get down there. Yeah. 
Here's where I'm going. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, fell a little bit, but I'm okay. Ah, a slippery dirt. Climb over the logs. Yay. I'm at the beach. I can hear the waves. Okay, now I gotta remember how to get back when I do need to go back. So we're looking at that. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at that, that's nice. Ooh, there's a sandbar I kinda wanna go to over here. Oh, the sand is so soft under my shoes, nice. It's like the birds had had a meal out of that. Yep. All right. I'm gonna come up to the edge here. Look at that, oh yeah. It's nice. Weather is perfect. Oh yeah. My shoes got sunk in the sand a little bit. <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised my feet aren't wet. Okay, here's that other little sandbar. Right on the edge. Look at this, it's amazing. This is pure sand that we're standing on over here. I'm about to come up on an area that's, whoa, sinking. It's quicksand too. There's some rocks over here. Carving out a little section here going out to the water. So I'm gonna have to jump this. <laughs> That's a lot. I can make it. I did it. Now, one thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to tip over a big rock and see what kind of crabs and stuff we can find inside. <laughs> Standard, we have to do it. Oh, <laughs> uh, if I walk over there, my shoes are definitely gonna sink in the water. I'll take a detour. 
slight detour. I don't mind walking in the soft sand. No problemo. Yeah, I'm also trying, it's the first time I'm trying uh, my Kamika wireless microphone system with the GoPro. And uh, it comes with two transmitters and one receiver. And of course, I only need the one because I'm all by me onesie. And they're rechargeable and they, they last a really long time. So I'm just kind of trying it out. I've, I've used it before with uh, what, my other camera, but not with the GoPro. So we'll see how that works. I see a promising rock to tip over. We'll see what we can find inside of it. All right, what do we got? Who's in there? Oh boy. <laughs> Worms and a whole bunch of crabs. Sorry guys, okay, I'll cover you back up. Ready? Hopefully I'm not squishing you. There we go. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> oh, awesome. And there's a whole bunch of logs and driftwood up in front of me. Go we'll check that out. I like days like this at the beach when it's warm, but you still need a jacket. Uh, depending on who you are, some people will still go with just a t-shirt. I could probably get away with that. It's that warm. I don't know how warm it actually is, but it feels nice. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit of breeze on me too. And so hopefully the mic is not picking that up, but I can feel, you can see it in my hair probably. Okay. Back toward the water. I know I'm in silhouette right now. Sorry about that. <clears throat> but you can see the blue sky behind me. All right. This is nice sand right here, look at that. Look at all the shells. Yeah, driftwood stick. I bet Sandy would like that. That's perfect specimen. Yeah, I like this beach. We're gonna have to come here more often, it's cool. down just a little bit further. Some nice houses that uh, hang out here. Houses just hanging out, just chilling. Yeah, this is good. Got you a nice stick there, Sandy. It's really weathered. It's uh, perfect, perfect for the yard. Success, I feel like this is a, a success. Took a chance thinking about the beach. It's like, nah, it's probably awful or closed or whatever. I just, you know, just didn't think it would be something you can do, but it's definitely awesome. Tide is perfect for this. Yeah, that's another thing. I, <laughs> I would think that I'd get here and the, the tide is all wrong. Can't come down here and enjoy any of the sand and, 
or it's gonna rain or something, but oh, this is just perfect. So I think ahead of me, way up there, around that curve, that's the Howarth part of the beach, I think. Just by looking at the terrain over there, I think that's that part. So I've been there many times and it's nice, but usually I don't get much of a chance to come over here. This is great. Okay. Well, hopefully I can cross the uh, tracks and not get busted by any cops. <laughs> Well, so if you're ever in the area, which is Everett, Muckleteo, Washington, well, now you know that that beach is pretty grand on in the this time of year and all probably all through summer. So this is around, I think it's around noon. So the tide was pretty, pretty out far and uh, it's only gonna start coming in toward the evening. But right now it's perfect, I love it. So yeah.